I attached a number of fishing sinkers to the end of a tape measure to use as a simple depth gauge. One of the problems in the previous video was a suspicion that the area I was testing in wasn't deep enough. Like in the previous test, I'm using the same three different floating structure design models which I call the traditional, the spar, and the sphere. See link in the description below for the previous video. Like before, some clips were recorded at 120 frames per second to show the effects of the waves on the lot models, and others are normal 30 frames per second. After much searching, I found a spot on the Keokuk Southside Boat Club dock where the water seemed to be at least 12 feet deep, although there appeared to be a strong current just below the surface. I attached a strong 50-pound fishing line to the center of gravity in each of the models in the hopes of holding them in place wouldn't affect how the model was or wasn't rocking in the waves. Right off the bat, I was having to fight hard against the current, and I was concerned I might lose my models, but the line held. Here you can see how the current and waves were affecting the spar model as it fought against the flow of the current. I estimate the current was flowing about 1 to 2 feet per, one to two feet per second or about 1 mile per hour, which may seem pretty slow, but remember that the spar here is 1 500th scale, which would be the equivalent of the full-size spar being anchored in 500 mile per hour ocean currents or water flowing almost as fast as the speed of sound. This is over twice as fast as the world's fastest racing boat. And not surprisingly, this is 100 times faster than the world's fastest ocean current, the Agalas Current, which flows from the Mozambique Channel between Africa and Madagascar down to the tip of Africa. At this scale, the current in this test is way beyond anything we could possibly expect in the ocean and isn't realistic. It's no wonder the spar wasn't as steady. I'm hoping that I'm doing my next test in a public pool. I'll have the depth I seek, waves, and hopefully less of a current. I'll see what I can come up with. On a side note, in the background you can see the white and blue steel barge building structure that once served as an entryway facility to the Davenport, Iowa Rhythm City Casino Riverboat. This floating structure is being scrapped because it is succumbing to rust, which is the eventual fate of all still floating structures. See my link below uh, to my drone video. But back to my models. In an attempt to take the current and mooring line out of the equation, I also did a test where the model was pulled in close and then allowed to drift away without any resistance from the mooring line. In this test, the, the spar was much more stable and mainly just slowly bobbed up and down, which matches what Chad reported from the small spar he lived on for a while. The traditional model uh, didn't drift as much because the main current was below the surface of the water. The traditional model behaved about as expected with slow rocking that would make the inhabitants seasick, which caused me to start doing these expanded model tests in the first place. The traditional model the structure does handle the waves, but it wasn't as stable as the spar. On a sphere model, I had flipped over the deep sea anchor so any undertow current would have a less harmful effect, but the sphere model itself was a complete failure. It was uh, difficult to capture this on video, sorry for the unflattering angle, the drone had to remain over the dock so that it wouldn't settle into the water. Being a 1 1,000th scale model, the 1 mile per hour current was the equivalent of 1,000 miles per hour current on the full size version, which is faster than the speed of sound, which again isn't realistic. Since the deep sea anchor was holding onto the current instead of the calm waters, it caused the model to sit sideways, which, obviously, which is obviously unacceptable. Lessons learned. In the next test, I should have, uh, I should be in, be in a place with waves but no currents, and the deep sea anchor needs to be adjustable to grab or not grab water at different levels.